Well, I guess this is the start of the show then. Showtime! So, I have a confession to make. Confessions. Part but, three. What did I tell you to do last week before we started the show? Uh. I told you to get a cup of tea to make this show authentic. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that is a confession. Yeah. I said, William, get a cup of tea. Don't make it anything else. Get a fucking cup of tea. So he went, okay, be right back. Get a cup of tea. And he got oh, a cup no. of tea. I'll, I'll admit, I got my dad to make me a cup of tea. Because I'm I too lazy. I don't feel as bad about this then. Because <laughs> I didn't get a cup of tea. I drank some Horlicks. <gasps> I am dismayed. I'm so sorry, everyone. You got a rebel. 20 viewers out there. Mate. I'm sorry. You just ruined this, our fan base. I've ruined the uh, whole our point of the show where you're supposed to get a cup of drink. I'm fucking done. Tea. I'm fucking done, Will. Sorry. You think you're going to see your children after this? Don't take them away again. <laughs> Don't. I just wanted... I just wanted to do a fucking cosplay with Mickey Mouse. Don't. <laughs> I need them for it. I'm t I can't fit in this costume. <laughs> I can only fit in Goofy. No, 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 William. Uh, that's unfortunate, then, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, I've got a joke. Oh, I made yeah. this joke myself. So when you create your own joke, you kind of have to give the person more credit because they didn't just Google this shit. I'm just trying to say this so. It makes my joke more funny. It's trademarked and copyrighted by Will, guys. That's it. So, this is really... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make your lasagna more musical? I don't know. How do you make your lasagna more musical? You add some more bechamel sauce. <laughs> <laughs> bechamel! Bechamel! Beige, bechamel... <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> it's it's terrible. Isn't it? You're just sympathy laughing. <laughs> it's not even a real laugh. Uh, it's, it's just an unfortunate. Anyone out there can use that, and I'll let them. Bad wordplay. <laughs> no, they can say I came up with this myself. I'll let anyone take that. It's well, like then. when you Google copyright-free music. That's a copyright-free joke. Enjoy it. <laughs> Gets you all the bitches. Oh, no, cheese toast gets you all the bitches. That joke, I don't know what that will get you. Cheese toast? <laughs> yeah, mate. Do you know what my mum bought the other day? Which kind of made n me nostalgic. She bought a cheese toasty machine. Yeah, man! How good are they? I got one the other day, mate. Well, no, I didn't get one, but I got I got a toasty to do the day. I was like, yeah. You got you got a toasty? You mean you bought the machine or you bought a toasty? Mate, no. We got the machine and I they cooked a toasty. I ate the toasty. I was satisfied like a little bitch. Oh yeah, I made one this morning with ham and cheese. Oh mate. Mm! You have to like butter the outside of the bread, don't you? Yeah, oh man. Do do you like butter the machine as well? Or... Butter the machine? Yeah mate. No. <laughs> well, you actually put like a knob of butter inside of it. Not a knob of butter, but like I get a little bit of butter on my fingers and just like, you know. Grease it up a Grease it up a little bit, even though there's butter on the bread, which so kind of defeats the point. <laughs> I don't like to grease two things in one day, and I need to I need to grease something else. So, uh, yeah. Your wanking abilities is. No, I, I grease the inside of my bum all day. So it helps poo come out. I don't. I eat zero fruit or veg, so I Mate. have no I have no fiber in my in my diet, so I have to grease my bum all. Mate, I can't remember the last time I struggled to have shit. Really. Yeah, and all you fucking eat is crisps. I I free flow. I'm like <laughs> in out done, mate. I'm I'm wide open, mate. I feel like a slut. Maybe it's just one of those abilities you have. What's your ability? I can shit quick. Cause yes. some people, you are a quick pooer. That could that's actually ability. Some people can like sleep. You know, some people can just sleep whenever they want to. Oh mate, yeah. Whereas well, some people like I have to sleep at certain times. Some people can like um. Speaking about sleeping now, I know this is like diverted really quickly, but I didn't get yeah, sleep till like eight a.m. for some weird reason. Well, you was at work, weren't you, late last night? Yeah, but only till eleven, and I was knackered. 
Speaking of work, William, what kind of romantic encounter did you have with your boss? Oh, uh, you got uh, a story to tell, haven't you? Uh, story time, story time. Yeah. Everyone, get your popcorn. Sit down and fucking tell them the story. Yeah. Right. Right. Starts off another normal day. Bitching around in the kitchen. You're slagging around. It gets William, a bit. William's busy. a yeah. William's a chef, by the way. It gets a bit busy, and checks are coming in, flying all right, all sides, all right. At this point. Right, we're we'll skipping a little bit forward. Skipping we'll a little bit forward. Had to set the mood. Yeah. Skipping we'll a little forward. It's been four hours of non-stop checks. Right, that on a Sunday is just awful. Right, I like being busy, but Sundays you don't want to do much because Sundays everyone hates Sundays at work. Who who wants to work on Sundays? Not me, mate. I I work on Sundays. It's shit. Like it is fucking awful. Like give me any other day. It's not Sundays. Like fuck that. Anyway. Sundays you do roast dinners as well at work, so it's like on top of, on top of your normal menu, you got to deal with all these roast dinners, fucking crap. It's just, and it gets even worse later on. It's like, well, have you got any pork? So, like, no, we don't. Well, why well, have you run out of pork? Because we used it all. Why right. else would we run out of pork? Anyway, so yeah, it finally started dying down, and we were doing like the last few checks. So I, I'm shouting food away, like you know, like yes, please. You know, yeah, food to go, shit, take the fucking thing out of my sight. Because I'm fucking done. Anyway, no one's taking this food. It must have been shouted about five times now. Right, it's been on the hotline for 15 minutes. Like, I'll be honest with people, it it winds me up. The hotline should only be there for a split second. It, it shouldn't be there to hold, like, your food hot until someone can be asked to take it. It should be on there, off there, straight away. Yeah. M a minute or so max, because, fair enough front of us people do have shit to do I understand that but I don't understand why if we're shouting and we can see you through the window at you doing fuck all why aren't you coming to get the food anyway my head chef walks out but he's just like well if you if you want me to cook any more food just come and get me because this is ridiculous so he's gone to have a fag I don't blame him anyway deputy general manager comes in right and uh, this, this, like I said 15 minutes have been on the hot light right and I'm pissed, because, yeah. well, it, it happens a lot, and I even said that to her, right, she was just like, oh, um, I think, she, oh, I think she noticed, like, something was cold on the plate, and I was just like, well, yeah, it's been fucking sit there for fucking 15 minutes, what do you think it's gonna do, so, oh, it's just gonna miraculously stay warm, are you fucking deluded, and, uh, she was like, oh, well, I'm sorry, but I have a soft I'm like, you're saying fucking sorry, but no one's fucking doing anything. No fucking leadership out there. You're fucking useless. Man, and I'll you be You unloaded on them like I'll, this. I'll be honest. These, these are words that actually were spoken to her. And this is my second in charge person of the building, mate. Fucking hell. Like, and then, basically, well, I did the first lot of chips. And then, she noticed, because there was two, two lots of, like, checks meals on the highlight. Because, why... Because we'll, you know, fill it up, freaking, like you do. Anyway, she was like, oh, the second lot of chips are cold as well. Well, yeah, no shit. Again, it's been sat there for fucking ages. Well, you guys do fuck all out there. We can clearly see you doing fuck all, so why aren't you fucking doing anything? It's your job to get people to take food. You're not even fucking doing it. What the fuck are you doing? You're probably decorating fucking Christmas trees again. And anyway, like, she was just like, Oh, can you reheat these chips? So I was just like, I can do some fresh chips. I'm not, re you know, I'm not going to reheat some chips. I don't see why I should. That's going to make those chips greasy and horrible, man. Like, yeah. we got to make it so, you know, hot food, high high quality. I'm not going to just freaking chuck your chips back in the fryer because this cunt can't be asked to take your food out quick. I'm sorry, but no. I, that's going to make me fucking look bad. Anyway, she basically turned around to me and was just like, well, we need to talk after you've calmed down. I was just like, whatever, just fucking take the food out. Anyway, she comes into the quality roll and basically she, she apologises. And she was like, well, we are busy, we've got to do this, this, and this, and this. I'm like, and you're saying, and then she said, oh, and we're understaffed. I'm like, mate, there's four of us in the kitchen. There's been four of us in the kitchen all day. Sunday we normally have six. It's like, that's not an excuse, that's just bullshit. Yeah. And, I, and I called her out on that as well. I'm like, well, that's fucking just bull crap because we're on the soft as well, and yet we're still able to push out food to a high quality extent when it's being able to reach the tables in time. 
Anyway, then she she kind of like yeah she apologised and I was like whatever like it happens all the time. I'm get, we're all used to the front of us being pathetically bad like this. Anyway, as I said, she basically asked for an apology, right? Because I swore at her and she and I quote this forty seven times. I'm like bollocks. <laughs> I did not swear at you 47 times, probably about 10 times. Well, she just made that number up, she, as if it was real. She, yeah, she reckons I swore at 47 times. I'm like, I may have said fucking a lot, but it was nowhere near 47 times. Trust me, if I wanted to swear 47 times, I would have used different words than just the word fucking. To be honest, though, when you get over, like, five swear words, it's no different between five and 47. So if I've said one, yeah. how, how does that make the next one any worse? Oh, it's like... The more swear words you use, the more harsh they become. No. Fucking fucking that, fuck fuck. If that's oh the no, case, then... he swore five times. Shit. Yeah. If that's the case, like you could be mugging someone, right? You see it, and you swear it. You call a bitch four times, and she's like, "Fuck you!" And then you call a bitch the fifth time, and she's like, "Eh." She just goes over the top like and that. just like slits her wrists or something. Yeah. So anyway. you said it five times. Anyway, yeah. I was still pissed, so I basically said like, "No." <laughs> I ain't apologising for shit. Right? What, well, did she ask you to apologise? Yeah. And I was, I was like, no. <laughs> and then she was like, well, that's very respectful, isn't it? I'm like, I don't give a shit. It's very, oh, respect- yeah. it's very respectful for you to take my food, but you don't do that. Mm, but that's a bit <laughs> questionable, though, isn't it? <laughs> but carry on. Anyway, like... anyway like, she was just like, we walk in the kitchen, things are awkward in there because like I've just shouted at the GGM in front of like seven people. Everyone's like, I'm staying away from this fucker. He's a, he's serious. The, the thing is, I tried to stay like below the radar at work because I don't want to make a scene. I just want to get through my shift. Yeah, I'll have a laugh. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you that you're not doing your job properly, but not as harsh as that. It's just like... Yeah. Like, I, I never really want to shout because... Well, that, that doesn't do anything. It's, it's, uh, yeah, creating differences is not good in the workplace. You know, like, I don't want to make things awkward. I don't want. So, but like I said, I just, I just lost it in a moment of like pressure, heat, whatever. And she unfortunately got in the firing line. And so now, na- now is it just simmering where you just awkward well, around each well, other? Or she anything? she spoke to Luke, the head chef, afterwards, and was I was like, when well, you need to have a word with him, because in all fairness, I should be needing this to bring up to Andy, which is my main guy. And I was like, well, and, yeah, Luke basically said to me, like, well, she's, she's said she'll, t- she won't take tell Andy because this is very out, out of character for you and out of the blue. And you can understand how, how, why we were like so busy. We were understaffed. They were understaffed. It was just a hell of a day. Okay. And all she basically asked was for an apology. If she got that, she, she would have let it fly because, like she said, it is out of character. And I was just like, well. And then he even said to me, he's like, but I'll give you 10 out of 10 for just straight up smacking that bitch with the truth. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, like, William, you need to sort out, you need to sort out your manners. But by the way, give me a fist pump. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking know it. <laughs> he's like, good shit, by the way. But yeah, I also got told that by Amy and the other chef that was in the kitchen. She was just like, oh man, I didn't know you could be that like ruthless, but. You didn't say anything that wasn't needed to be said. I was just like, that, that's not helping the situation at all, guys. You know, so it's like, that's just feeding my ego. Here's the way I see it, right? Um, you guys are all in the kitchen, and you're all, you know, you said you was having like a four-hour session where everything's just mental for four it, hours straight. It is, mate. And you're all, you're all talking to each other, and you're all saying, mate, this is shit. This food needs to get out. It's going out of shit. Yeah. And so everyone's building hate towards this person and towards, you know, people being shit at their job. And it, it kind of exploded you. And then, to be honest, their job should be, their priority should be delivering the fresh food while it's fresh. If they have another priority, which is like, I don't know, doing like some paperwork. For example, like, you one of I mean? the reasons she said that they couldn't really hand out food is because they were dealing with Christmas, like, dinner deposits. Because apparently, like, that Sunday was, like, the first day they could all hand in their deposit to oh, pay like for people Christmas. people booking, booking their Christmas dinners there. Yeah, it's just like, well, in all fairness, just get, some, just get one of your staff to sit on a fucking table for a few hours accepting deposits. Why? Because apparently, like, every table that was there that day was paying their deposits pretty much. So say 
say you had four tables, each table wants to pay the deposit. So you have to go to the freaking counter, you have to check the name, you have to do all the freaking thing, you have to go onto this other software, you have to go to a till. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to pay your deposit, apparently. Yeah. So this one person's got four tables. That's an that's that's an out. Yeah. Right, then this person's got four tables, so that's another out. This person's got you're taking all the stuff out of the equation for an hour because no one's decided to be like, wait a minute, let's just get someone to deal with the deposits. Just just one person. Yeah, it just sounds like a flawed system, but yeah. That's what Luke said to her. And but anyway, I'll admit like I'll be honest, I apologised to her I apologised to her later on. I did. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, was, I was still pretty annoyed that she asked for the apology. It's like, I'll apologise when I want to apologise. You shouldn't ask for my apology. Yeah, I agree. Um, but, cause, so yeah, that's... Um... Uh, but yeah, I apologised to her. I was just like, like, listen, like, we all, we all, uh, I'll admit, I was, I was building up some freaking... I was building up some hate. And I apologised for that. And I, I even said to her, like, but if you want to speak to Andy, I'll understand that. Because that is your job. You've got to do it by the book. Yeah. Uh, blah, blah blah. And I even I even said to her because I was taking the bins out at the time, and she was outside having a fag. I said to her, I was like, oh no, I want to shake your hand, because well, because we were speaking, and I thought we were just gonna like leave it at, like me me saying sorry, and her saying, oh that's fine. I was like, nah, I'm gonna shake your hand. I'm like, I want to shake your hand because, you know, it's it's just that's polite. I even I even joked around with her afterwards. Like, I want to shake your hand before I take this bin out of the bin because that's nasty. Okay. And, yeah, she was just like, oh, like, yeah. And I said, yeah, we're, we're fine right now. But he, here comes the uh, kicker I found out yesterday. Okay. Appa- apparently now she's off w- off work for two weeks because she's got a bad back. Right. It's just like... Because you banged her so hard, wouldn't you? Mate, that's what freaking Luke said. It's just like, you completely, you completely destroyed her. She has to take two weeks off. I'm like... That's that's not how it is. She just has a bad back, guys. Come on. But yeah, yeah um, I saw Andy yesterday, and he didn't say anything to me, so I'm assuming nothing was said. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. Events from Williams. Daily. Uh, so remember, yeah. kids, don't get stressed, but don't smoke either. Smoke. Yeah, mate. Smoking. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was pretty exciting, wasn't it? it? It's not. It's all fucking shit. Yeah. Bunch of bunch of drama. I now regret causing. So I got a topic. Go for it, mate. What was your most embarrassing memory? See, I don't know, mate. Cause I'll, I'll be honest, but I can enough. think of I can think of one for me. I felt like I felt of people get embarrassed all the time and shit, but yeah. As you get older, it's like, well, was that really embarrassing? Not really. Could have been worse. Yeah, like, I... Actually, now you mentioned that, yeah, like, I fell over and landed on some beans, and they were all the way up my ass. And, uh... Out on the school field when I was at, when I was at high school, and... Now I think about it, and I'm just like... Yeah, I'd get it. I'd get over that See, in, yeah, within a minute. Now, now I, something like that, I'll joke off, I'm like... Shit. I'm like, yes, I shit, got... Shitting out beans! God damn it! Yeah, I've got 15 minutes to to waste now before I go to lesson. So for fuck's sake, mate! Hope she can yeah. clean out bean stains because I'm not cleaning this shit. Bean stains. <laughs> yeah, but is it, I'm trying to think if there's ever been that one moment where I've just been like, I am fucked. Like, this is so embarrassing. See, so, I I personally can't think of one. Mm, I don't know. I don't uh, think I can either. There's, there's got to be one out there which you know that you try to forget because it is ba- embarrassing. Well, there's awkward moments in my daily life all the time. Oh yeah, there's awkward moments, but that's different from being embarrassed, I reckon. Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of polite to be or It's kind of like British etiquette is like being politely awkward is the thing now. Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of what British people do best. That's yeah. right, guys, we're awkward. Yeah. Whistle. Tumbleweed. Shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Awkward. Then you, they, you get all the freaking like awkward things, haven't you? Like awkward turtle, mate. 
Awkward to I've never heard of these. Awkward flag, mate? Awkward flag? Awkward giraffe? No, I don't get it. Or, um, <laughs> um, I, th I think there's another one called Awkward Cow. Wait, no? Mm. Wait. Uh, anyway. I think I was hanging out with the wrong people. Let's move on, because <laughs> this is fucking awkward. Um, I want to talk about life after life. So, so life after death. <laughs> yeah, when people say life after death, what do they mean? Like well, it's reincarnation. Or is it life crap. after life? Yeah. Do so you yeah. believe in love after love? That's what I always thought the fucking words were: life after love, or love after love, or yeah. It's what actually is it? It's actually just love after love, mate. Oh, it would have been so much better if it was life yeah, after love. It, it's about a heartbreak song. It's like, well, oh, fuck, I've lost my love heart. Can I find some more love? It's so like, yeah, just man the fuck No, up. no, William, I get it, okay? Don't, well, what? I am a... You don't, to go, <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go, well, well, well. What love after love means is if you can actually find love after you find love. It's an English lesson, guys. <laughs> I, I understand it, thanks. Uh, but, yeah. yeah mate. And um, let's talk about... If you believe in reincarnation, I'm gonna say you straight up no. Okay, but Just give then me again, a I'm I'm a bit of a hater for everything, so I don't I don't I, I'm one of those people that are boring. I'll be like, yeah, you're dead, you're dead. Yeah, like that's your time. You you've done. I I don't think you reincarnate. I don't think you go to heaven. They just don't seem plausible. Here's my opinion, though. If you how does anyone know reincarnated's a thing? If when you're reincarnated, you you don't have the same history in your mind, like you don't have memories, and you don't have like a understanding of who you were when you come back. So one one theory might be that you come back as an animal, and anim you lose a bit of you lose like the human essentials. And you can't speak. That's like no other no other species in the this in this world can communicate apart from parrots, but they don't really count. But um, yeah, maybe that's the reason. That's the way you come back if you don't get into heaven. Maybe and then heaven might. I think heaven has a capacity of people where if there's anything in heaven, that means it has limits. Like if you find a wall in heaven. That means there's space that's taken by something else. And that means they might have a limit or it might have a rule. And heaven isn't supposed to have rules. And also, you might not even need heaven because you might ha find heaven on earth. So if you die and then go to heaven, your life might actually get worse by going to heaven. Ooh, heaven must go first. Ooh, Ooh, heaven, heaven is a place, place on, earth. on earth. No one knows the other words to that song. Stay together, love comes first. Oh, heaven is pleasant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I don't know, I don't know, man. I, oh, I don't really believe in a lot of things, so. Do you believe we all have a soul? A soul? Well, you know, like, our brain is made from, like, electricity or something. Yeah. It's like, I can't, I don't know what they call it, but it's like, our brain work, it functions on some kind of like, I don't know, I can't remember what really, but, does that mean we're all just like electricity? Yeah, we're all robots, well. Yeah. <laughs> but in a way, what But we have brain... emotions, so. <laughs> yeah. What if you just, maybe it's how you die, what if you die by electricity, that channels your soul into heaven? If you die by drowning, that means you become a fishy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying though, if you get eaten by a lion, you become a lion. It's not like a fucking game of tag. I was gonna say because everyone would just try to do some funky deaths, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, there's so many ways you can look at like life after death. It's such a hard topic. Yeah, it, it's a topic that worries me, to be honest. But, but I don't want to listen. But I don't really fucking... want to listen to someone who. Who says they've been reincarnated? Because they don't have any. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. If you can prove it, mate, you, you, fair play. But you can't. Yeah. So you shut the fuck up. Unless that's why it can't be true. Because someone would have proved it by now. Like they would have said, okay, I can fucking prove it. 
this was me. This was my house. 400 years ago, I was related to this person. I said this on this day, you, at this exact you, time. Did you ever watch, uh, I don't know, I think it was on like BBC, probably. There was that, oh, it was, it was a show where they actually basically tried to, like, they would get a person on a, like, a fucking... Prove it was real, basically. Yeah, and it, it was some dodgy shit. It's just like, oh, in your past life, you were like a, uh, a maid to the... King of this place is like, yeah. Well, actually, no, no you dad, weren't love. You were just fucking probably dreaming some shit. My dad's done something like that, and he had a recording, right? And I was like, I was like ten or eleven when I heard this, so I was fucking freaked out. But I went to his house one day, and he was listening to this, right? He was listening to uh, there was no video. It was just like an audio. It was just like on a blue screen, and it was just him being like talked to by a some kind of a. Uh, hypnotist yeah and they were ta- dad was like talking while he was asleep and he was saying he was saying that he's like this indian guy and he's going through the woods and he's on a horse and he's hunting and stuff like that and it was fucking weird because my dad was like i was just listening to my dad going oh, 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 oh. and he just like mumbled is he wasn't speaking english very, very properly he was like asleep apparently it was fucked up. I'm like, what the fuck is this fucking witch doctor shit? But I don't know. I don't, I, can't, I can't ever imagine myself being, you know. You know what they say though, William? It's the one like one of those things where they say, you won't know until you get touched by God. One day God's going to come from the clouds and give you a little slap on the forehead. But again, I don't believe in God. But I'm I'm a bit spectacle with Jesus. Don't get me wrong. A spectacle. I know why. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> spectacle. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. But don't you think it's a safe bet to believe in God? Why? I, what? I, see, I see it as, if you want to believe something, then fair enough. Because if that gives you, like, hope or that gives you, like, strength, then... Why? Yeah, I think that's a bad reason to believe in something, though. But I think that's a good reason, like... if Because gives... you're not being realistic, though. If that gives you strength, though, like... Fair enough. Like, I see it as... I get strength from just beating one off. But that's false but belief. It's, so, it? it's it's false belief, but some people need that in their lives. Yeah. Well, other people are strong enough to not need it. But forget. why is it the most important thing in someone's life... Which is religion is is sometimes not, not is sometimes not broken down into good decisions like people do with the rest of life. Like a good decision is go to college, go to university, become a doctor. That's good decisions that someone makes, but because they planned it and they realise what's good for their future. But when you look at religion, not many people do the same process of making a good decision. They don't go, right, who's proved this is real. Why is it good for me? Why should I believe in this? Why should I dedicate my life to something I don't even know? No one does that process for religion. It's what really confuses me. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd... Do you believe in evolution then? Where we came from a meteor, exploded into the sea, and then... Um, we start forming from atoms and minerals and stuff. So yeah, oh, I, I, well, is that is that evolution? That might be not evolution. That I might think, be. I think that's another one because evolution is where we come from, monkeys, mate. No, but I think that's before the monkeys. I'm not sure though. What? So the we come from atoms that make monkeys, then we come from monkeys. Yeah, I I tell you another theory. Someone think there's a doctor that thinks that this, that Earth is a prison for all the bad humans, and we've we've been sent. We we live on another planet, and they've all sent us here, wiped our memories, and it explains stuff like the. It explains a few things I can't remember, but it explains like why the. Um, I can't remember exactly, but it does explain a few things. Like, it, oh, it explains why we get skin cancer, because from the sun, it explains why we haven't adapted to the sun like other creatures on this planet. 
because they've lived there for years. No other creatures get skin cancer or anything like that, except for us, because we we're new to this planet, so we're still adapting. Man, that, so, that sounds freakily realistic, actually. Yeah, it's kind of scary, isn't it? But yeah, there's lots of theories like that. But yeah, oh, no, it, when when you think about like human life in a whole. Human. 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 Humus. Um, yeah, it kind of freaks me out, like... We kind of just suddenly just appeared on the planet. That's, yeah. That, that's for sure. I thought you meant about yourself, like... The fact oh. that your conscious is a real thing. Wait, I'll tell you what freaks me out, though. I, I used to do this all the time in, you know, the freaking house assemblies or whatever you fucking had. Yeah. Wait. I'll, t I'll sit there and I'll be like, my body knows how to blink. Yeah. So, so I, I know that, that that's fucking stupid, but no, then, no. It's, then, it's then you're weird. like, then, then, then you stop and you're like, wait, my body could do shit with like just doing shit. It's like, fucking, it freaks me out. I'll, and I'll be there for like ten minutes, just zoned out in my own field, just like imagine breathing if we did and that. blinking. I'm like. Imagine if we did that every day. Every single person did that every day. They're like, I just moved my arm. And like, the fact that something in your mind put together that process. It, 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 like, it, it kind of just, like, wow, what the We're fuck? more impressive than a computer, you know. We're like, we can like, I mean, the computer could do loads of things, actually, but. Internally, like we we can do so much if we uh, like it, do it. it I don't know. It, it, it's scary, kind of. Yeah. Right. And then uh, this sounds like algae, and I'll be honest. Confession to them. Um. You know how, say you're in class and someone's like pissing you off or whatever, you, you start running through like, I think it's like I could just come up. I could just yell the bitch at you and fucking just like come across there and just like bang your head across on a table web. But I'm a I'm a controllable guy. I'm not a psychopath, but why am I having these weird thoughts? Mm, or, or is that or is that just me being fucking borderline psycho? No, that I don't know, that seems reasonable. Just seems like well that's what hate is when you don't like someone. You don't do physical or, violence. Or, or you know when a teacher's telling you off and you're like, it's like, I could easily just turn around to you and be like, shut the fuck up, yo. But yeah. instead, something in my mind is like blocking me from doing that because it knows it sh I shouldn't. The consequences and... Yeah. It's yeah. like, what the fuck? Mm. It's like, poof, man. Mm. Yeah. Well. Orcs. Orcs. Orcs, mate. Orcs. Well, you, is your is your sword glowing like it does on Lord of the Rings? <laughs> you seen that? No. You know his sword. You don't even know that. I it's... don't. I, I, I'll be honest, mate. Until the fucking Hobbit, mate. That, that's the first film I've seen in that area. Oh like, my area. god! I was hoping you hadn't said that. You just saying you've never seen Lord of the Rings. That would be true. Fucking what the fuck, mate? Just, I, I I never got into it, mate. I'll, I'll be honest with you. You don't get into it; it gets into you. Well, I never give a chance because, like, that's rape. <laughs> yeah. What about? Oh my god, was it? Some some films everyone else has seen, mate. I'll I'll be honest with you. I've I'm never seen. I'm gonna say it's too late to enjoy Lord of the Rings now. That's well, the it's thing. not too. That's the thing, mate. Yeah. I'll be wanting to watch them, but then the longer I put it off, the longer I know I'm not going to like it because it's That's like what I mean. less graphical, it's yeah. less this, it's less that. It's like, why am I watching this freaking 60s no, puppet I'll, show? It's not It's not graphically inept uh, at all. I'm just saying that the fact you've put it off for so long must mean that like, it's not going to be good to you. It's, it's the same way with like Star Wars as well, man. I've, I've not really given that a freaking tickle. No, Star Wars is shit. Star Wars is overrated as fuck. And then, just you know, those those big films. I was like, oh yeah, that is a film. I'm like, I've not seen it. 
Yeah, like, I don't like... I'll tell you what films I don't like is action films. I don't like Mission Impossible. See, I don't I've like never seen Europe Mission Impossible. Yeah, they're just not good. And everyone's like, yeah, you, you know when like two people are chatting about it, it's like, yeah, have you seen that scene with that with that dude? And I'm like, I ain't seen it, so no. That's and why they, I... they look at you like, are you fucking out of your mind? Yeah, I bet. What? I bet you have. I bet you like Fast and the Furious, though, don't you? That was a great film franchise. But I don't. Rest in because... peace, Paul Walker. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. But what? Why? What is good about those films? It's just loads of people showing off their dicks, basically. Well, Look at this car. This car's green and sparkly. Right. Look how fast it can go. Look at this nice camera angle. It's got no, like, story behind it, is it? They do. Do they? But... Aren't they just, like, races and shit? Literally, whoever wins... It's not really, like, a... No, mate. Wor- like, a worthy storyline. You think that's what the storyline is, but then you actually watch it, and you realise that it's it's more than that. It's about... One guy's freaking devotion to his family. It's about how he'll do anything for them. Yeah. And then it, it shows how close fucking friends can get. It's like, oh, they'll drop anything to help this guy out or whatever because okay, that's he's helped him out. Fair enough, yeah, that's true. But you like, find that but, in a lot of films. But in all fairness, the first film, like, although, yeah, it's flashy cars, does this, yeah, it's all that. You don't, the story doesn't really build up till later on. Is this the series where is it the Japanese one where he goes to Japan and his his dad's like right. don't Tokyo don't Dr- drive. Sir. Tokyo Drift is a bit weird because that's meant to be the last film. Is it? But they made more. Well, when they originally made the first three films, so you know, Fast and Furious, Too Fast Too Furious, and Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift was meant to be the last film, and then they're like, wait a minute, this is actually making money, so. They dragged out a little bit, let's be honest. Everyone wants a bit of money. But to, when I watched Tokyo Drift, he was constantly throughout the film, he was getting told like told like, son, don't do don't get into driving. We moved here so you'll do school or something like that. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Well I just wanted to tell that guy to fuck off and let him do driving. I wanted him to become a beast driver. I wanted him to fucking slay the roads and become this kind of superhero in Tokyo. But he never got let. I don't know if he ever get it happen because I didn't watch it all. Mate, he become he becomes the drift king later on. Does he? He he takes over as the main driver in Tokyo. Okay, I might like it, but uh, his dad yeah. his dad ends up giving him like the mainframe for the car that makes him win the race, to declare his awesomeness pretty much. Oh, so his dad like gives in and is like, it, 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 do what you love, son. You say later on, it's like I'll do anything for your son. And it's just like, well, I need to borrow your shit. It's like, yeah, you go do that. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, good, Dad, because I need a new... Uh, I, need I need a new, a new car because my old car got stolen. Yeah. He's like, okay, typical lad. <laughs> yeah. Well, well yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll give them films another shot, but you should give Lord of the Rings a shot. I'd, I, I don't think what I said earlier was fair when I said you can't, you won't like it. I I could always watch it. It's one of those program. It's one of those shows you don't watch all the time when it comes on because it's too long and like you have to really get into it. Like you you have to like get into Lord of the Rings. You can't just. It's not like one of those films which is a bit of slapstick humor or something where you can just laugh and half pay attention and not try to enjoy, but you still enjoy it. It's one you have to like actually watch. Yeah, I know that sounds. That, that, so how can you not watch a film? But yeah, yeah. Not you don't have to pay attention. It's not like a complicated story. I just mean you're gonna have to. You have in, to like give your, a little bit. Yeah, you have to give your heart to like every detail. You have to be like, yeah. Did you see that fucking? You have to give you your s- heart to every detail, mate. That, that sounds cheesy that, as fuck. That, that is it? fucking. Che- I just like wrote a fucking My Little Pony <laughs> script. I did. <laughs> but uh, you have to like. You know, say if you see like an epic monster, you have to go, man, that monster is epic. You can't just say, yeah, that monster's a bit average, or yeah, I wish that, wish that monster had a few more spikes on his tentacles or some shit. But you have to, you have to proper go, like, man, that was sexy. Like, yeah, Jason Derulo, sexy. Yeah, like Jason Derulo, sure. Yeah. 
Okay. Hashtag swag. Hashtag Jason Derulio. J Jason Dolmio. <laughs> Someone needs to make that a meme, like his face on the Dolmio advert. Fuck you, know. You playing anything, William? Oh, I'm, I'm fucking not, to be honest. I'm just sat here being lazy. Straight up. Some risk of rain. Straight Are we going to go and play some Terraria in a, in a minute? Make some more episodes? Make some episodes, make some clips, make some uh, bad decisions, make some kills, <laughs> make some slains. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a good mate. Yeah. I'll be honest, mate. I've, I've been uh, whacking up a solo character, mate, on that game. Have you? Yeah, You've mate. been enjoying it? It's... It's 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 different playing on your own. Yeah. Because, well, you're a little bit more technical. But aren't you a bit disheartened because we've got quite far now? Uh, and basically, you're just building another house by yourself. It's like all your work isn't there. Yeah, it, like I said, it it's it's different. Like, because you get to do things. I know this sounds really bad, but you get you know how like. You get to do things your own way. You get to do things your own way, like. Like, oh, I'd want to go down here and then, like, you know, invention the yeah. entire area, like, a line at a time, rather than just, like, straight doing, or whatever. But, then again, I wouldn't want to do that same tactic with someone else, because that's just, like, my... Yeah, yeah. If I you get me. Just... You prefer to do different things when you're playing co-op. Not just you don't want to do what they do, it's just because you want to do different things. It's because, yeah, you just want to mix it up a little bit. Like like on, on Skyrim or something like that, sometimes you go into an area, you want to kill everything, you want to loot everything, and then sometimes, to be honest, you just don't. You just want to fucking speed through, mate, or something else, like. Yeah. But Terraria's, Terraria's just enjoyable for me, solo or co-op. I like it because it's it's not very taxing. It's, yeah. It's nice, it, I wouldn't say it's slow-paced. But yeah. it, it's just something that doesn't take much effort. And I like games like that now. Yeah. I like, fair enough, I like I like a little bit of a tryhard now and again, but... Like, yeah, it's just... It's it's simple. It's... it's good. I can imagine playing that game with any friend and it'd still be good. Yeah. Except for them if they're, like, really, really pro at it and they're like, right, t time to be time efficient. Boys, Man. we need to chop down 17 stone I'll, blocks. I'll be honest, the, the one thing that really bugs me with people is when they start becoming a bit... Oh, well, you shouldn't be doing that because that's not efficient for you. So, yeah, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Back off. Yeah, like, this is the fun way to do it. Like, I'd rather do things slow and shit but funny than... Oh, you, that, that's, just, that's a waste of your time. It's like, yeah, but it's a memory and a laugh. Sometimes I do that. Join like, in or jog off. I like um, I I bought a no a game I I used to own. I bought it again. I'm not even gonna mention it because no one's gonna know what the fuck it's called. Go go for it, mate. You gotta name it. You gotta name it. It's called Infinite Undiscovery. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's on the Xbox. Yeah, probably because you see me play. Oh, because I saw you play. It. <laughs> but yeah, um, is is I love it, right? But um, I like to give the music a chan a chance, you know. Like, yeah. I like to give the music a chance to make me love the game a bit more. Yeah. So I don't always play my own music or listen to a podcast or something. I yeah. don't do that. I like to give the a chance. But then after a while, when I've got used to the music, I just I switch it off when it comes to cutscenes. Because I, I like to indulge myself, even if it's this shit. Like, this, um, this game's, like, pro almost famous for how bad the voice acting is. It's, like, really over the top, and it's, like bad timing and everything it's really shit but i'm just gonna pretend that it's good just because like i don't want to waste money <laughs> i'm just gonna pretend i'm enjoying it but yeah it's uh it's what it's a, it helps you if you just don't judge everything all the time yeah it's just, you gotta do the game for you rather than just yeah not critiquing everything like i sometimes think when i'm playing a game i'm like Imagine all the people and all. This is probably 250 people who was, who got into creating this game, right? Production team, animating, sound team, all that kind of shit. Yeah. And I'm like, they all brought this together for me, and I paid five pounds for this shit, and they've spent 250 hours, 250 people, you know, 250 hours each, fucking slaving away to create this game, and I'm like, yeah, I might buy it. 
Yeah, I might buy it. Yeah, uh, played so, it. I played it for four minutes. You're looking at it like that, and it's, it's and really strange, isn't it? It's like, that makes you feel like every game is amazing. I like, never really looked at it like that. Yeah. Like, shit. But, um... Yeah, you're like, wow, you can really see what they did with the audio here. It really sounds clear, or... Well, I'll be honest, though. I mean, as much as... A, because I fucking... I love freaking music and shit. Like, listening to... I listen to music pretty much all the time. But... Yeah. Game music is something I, I could never really get into. I fucking... Oh, it bugs me. And I know that's wrong, because some games have fucking great music. Like, I hear you, William. Risk of Rain... For example, as some great fucking soundtrack to it. I hear you, William. But what about if you heard some, uh, if you heard the Halo Three title screen music, you'd probably jizz. I know because that one always bugged me. Like it's a great song, don't get me wrong. But when I'm playing the game, man, shut up. No, but not now. You're not. Like, you never grew up playing Final Fantasy or anything. But when I hear Final Fantasy music, I'm like, oh my god, this takes me back. And like that's what music does for me. It's even not even when it's not got lyrics in it, you can still relate to it. Still like match it with other things. Uh. Like I used I remember I got like for example, I got like um Halo Wars when that came out. Yeah. And I played that was my game for the next month. Like nothing else. I got on Halo Wars every day. And I remember I got at the same time I got like an album by the the fray or something like that. And yeah. I just associate that song with that game now. Stuff like that, like, every time I hear that song, I'm imagining that game and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, in that way, but... Yeah, but that's, that's, that's more, no one really does that, I just, but, yeah. The game music's amazing sometimes, like, I also think about that, like, how much do these musicians get paid to do this shit? See, since you're in that field, of Yeah, that interests me a bit more, you know. Yeah, that gets to you, well, me, like... The the least and this sounds really bad, but the least team I really give a shit about is the musical team. Cause that is weird. Cause you're you like music and you like all genres. Like you don't just like rap or rock. Yeah, you like I'm, rap. I'm I'm a little musical slut. And yeah. Uh, but yeah, when I'm playing a game, it's just like well, like I I I, I was on, as of recently though. I'll I'll play a game with no music, no no sound. I'll I'll sit here in silence. I know that sounds really weird. That is weird. But it indulges me a little bit more. Well, before I'll load up a computer, say oh, I'm, I'm freaking I'm playing Halley Attack Three or whatever. Fuck it. Yeah. I'll be there, you know, loading up YouTube, loading up this, putting on my, you know, Windows Media Player, whatever, whacking on my music straight away before I touched any game controller. That's what I do, yeah. But I, as of recently, I think it's because like I don't know. It's like I, I kind of prefer like a little bit of clear sound. Yeah. Like, just, just me and my thoughts. I can't. I I hate think thinking is one thing that tortures me a bit. Like I don't know. It dep it's probably depends how confident you are that day, but like. It's one thing where I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to be thinking. Well, I ever think every scenario, so it's just oh, it's standard lifestyle now. Yeah. Yeah. Chaos. Chaos. Shall we uh, leave it there then? Yeah, sounds like a plan. Um. Final words. Final words. Final words. Final, final words. words is uh. Always eat your vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables, that's right. Um, and... Oh, what was an and? Yeah, yeah, I've got one more for you. Oh. It's always, um... Always help old ladies across the street. That's how you get into heaven. Only if you want their purse, though. Yeah, <laughs> only if you want them to give you a Werther's original. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth any any last any last words, William, or last songs? Uh, wake me up before you go go. William gonna say, check out Eminem's new album. Eminem LP two, mate. It's fucking sick. Yeah.
Um, but I'm not telling you that because he's he's not sponsoring, so I don't get sponsor. Any. Sponsored by Eminem. Yeah. Joking. Hashtag fuck. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it then. Yeah, boy. Peace. I peace. What up? I stop in the video. <laughs>